Let's look at polynomials now. Now don't freak out. That's the word that we mentioned at the beginning. We've already talked about monomials. A polynomial is just a combination of monomials. Okay, so it's a monomial or a sum of monomials. You'll notice it has that same nomial. Nomial means names or types of terms, right? Monomial, mo, means single. That's a single term. Polynomial means that it can have several. Poly means several terms. Polynomial, several names. Okay, so let's find out. Are these polynomials? Five. The answer is yes, because 5 is a monomial. If you'll remember back to that first thing with the monomials, a monomial is a constant or a variable or a product of constants and variables with whole number exponents. 5 is a constant, therefore it's a monomial, and a monomial is a polynomial. So yes, this is a polynomial. How about this one? Well, that one's easy, because yes, this is a monomial, and that's a monomial. Therefore, the sum of them, the sum of monomials, is a polynomial. Okay, how about this one? This one's a little bit tricky because I stated it this way on purpose. Because usually that's how it'll be read in a dictionary or something. It will say a monomial or a sum of monomials. But this is a little bit tricky because you say, ah, but that's a minus. A minus is not a sum. But I'll tell you what, back in pre-algebra, you learned that when you had a minus, you could turn that into a plus a negative, couldn't you? And so now it is a sum. And so even though it is a sum of monomials, it can actually be pluses and or minuses. All right? So yes, that is a polynomial. How about this one? The answer is no, because remember, a monomial has to have whole number exponents. Whole number exponents are 0, 1, 2, 3 not the negatives. Negative numbers are not whole numbers, and therefore these are not monomials, and so this is not a sum of monomials. So no, this is not a polynomial. This one? Yes, this is a polynomial. In fact, this is a special type of polynomial called a quadratic trinomial. Trinomial because there are three pieces, just like a tricycle has three wheels. This is a trinomial. It's quadratic because of the two. We'll talk about that at a later time, but eh, get used to the name. All right, here we go. How about this one? Yes, it's a polynomial. The, there are variables. They have whole number exponents. Yes, zero is a whole number. And so this is a sum of monomials. That's perfectly fine. Okay? Now, as part of this, we should probably talk about the degree of a monomial, and that will be important. The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of the variables. Now, pay special attention to the fact that it's the exponents of the variables, because that'll be important. So I'm going to show you a couple of monomials here, and let's see if we can figure out the degree. Okay? Now, you might say, oh, that 5 has an exponent of 1, which is true, but is the 5 a variable? No, this is a zero degree monomial because there are no variables. And if there were any, they would all have an exponent of zero. This one is third degree. It's a third degree because it's x to the third power. This one, the sum of the exponents of the variables. So there's a 2 here. That's y to the first power. So that would be 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. This also is a third degree polynomial. All right? y to the negative 6. y to the negative 6. So y to the negative 6. Uh, did I trick you? y to the negative 6 is not a monomial because it has a negative exponent, which is not a whole number exponent. So please remember, even when we're asking questions about the degree, it's still important to recognize whether it actually is a monomial or not, and this one is not. Okay, what degree is this? x to the first, t to the first, h to the first, add those exponents together, this is a third degree monomial. Add the exponents, this is a fifth degree monomial. Okay, that was easy. So now when we're talking about the degree of a polynomial, it's also similar, very simple. The degree of the highest degree monomial. That's all it is. So you look at the monomials that build up the polynomial, 
and you figure out which one of those has the highest degree, and that's also the, the degree of the, the polynomial. You don't add all the monomials together. Please do not add all the, polynomial, all the monomials together. It's just the degree of whichever one's the highest. So let's look. 5. Okay, well, there's only one monomial there, and its degree is 0, because remember, the degree is the, ver the exponents of the variables. So it's a 0-degree monomial, and therefore it's a 0-degree polynomial. Okay, how about this one? This is a third degree polynomial. Remember, it's the degree of the highest degree of monomial. I have one monomial here, and I've got one here. This one has a degree of 3. This one has a degree of 2. Which one is the highest degree? 3. So the degree of the polynomial, this is a third degree polynomial. OK, how about this one? Yes, it's a polynomial. Remember, plus a negative, so that's fine. Here, this is a zero-degree monomial. This is a second-degree monomial. This is a first degree, which is the highest? The two. And so that makes this a second-degree polynomial. Not a polynomial, right? Good. Hopefully you got it that time. That's the third time that one's shown up. OK, what is the degree of this polynomial? Well, this monomial right here has a squared. This one has a first power, and this is a zero. So this is a second degree polynomial, or a quadratic. Okay, And this one has a degree of zero, two, one, one, two. So there's two second degree monomials, and that's OK. It just means it's a second degree polynomial. All right?